Well, tomorrow, the Maine Principals Association will hold its spring conference and vote on several game changing initiatives for high school sports. One proposal is a, a purpose. One proposal's purpose is to help create more opportunities for schools with smaller enrollments. WMTW News 8 Sports Director Travis Lee is here now with a closer look. Travis. Yes, Steve, it's no secret there are parts of Maine where the population is shrinking. With fewer students, it's harder to find the number of players you need to field the team. Currently, multiple schools can combine to make up a team called a co op team. They can do that in hockey, lacrosse, and football. Tomorrow, the MPA will decide if co op teams should be allowed in all sports. The way it stands now, wrestlers, golfers, tennis players, track athletes, skiers, and swimmers whose school does not offer that sport can practice with other schools and try to win individual state titles. But they cannot compete with their host school for a team championship. But if approved, the new policy would let individuals compete with other schools' teams and encourage team sports to form co ops as well. So cooperative teams are really originated by the fact that a school has really low numbers and may not be able to hang on to a program by itself. And so if you take two schools that may be having some difficulty in actually sponsoring and having a team, if they combine and create a cooperative team, and the small schools particularly like this. The Wayne Fleet field hockey team has struggled for wins recently, and having enough players has been a big reason why. How hard was it the last two years playing with the numbers that you had? It was pretty hard because <laughs> people would get sick and there was injuries and it, so we had to only have like a couple people on the team. Wayne Fleet's returning players are planning next fall to create the first field hockey co-op with another program with a similar shortage of players. Catherine McCauley. When I heard that not having a team was, might have been an option, it was kind of scary for me because I wanted to continue the success as a player and also as a team. Coaches were like, you know, if, this, if, does, if it doesn't work out, you know, you should make other plans. And no one really wanted to make other plans. We wanted to, to stay on the team. It's unlikely schools will form to make super teams because a host school needs to understand a co op team combines the enrollments of both schools and can push it into a higher classification. They would need a new nickname, team colors, and how will added players impact the status of players who are already on the host school's team? If I'm the host school and you have an individual coming to me, there, there may exist the opportunity that that individual eliminates someone from my school, either making the team or maybe not being a starter. And that's the main reason why this opportunity is likely reserved for schools that are desperate to keep a program. But the MPA feels it's an important move to increase participation statewide. In the newsroom, Travis Lee, WMTW, News 8 Sports.